All right, good morning, everybody. Um, this is going to be the first video in a multi-part series of refreshers for the pattern design software in Accumark. Um, since we're transitioning to an online teaching format, um, I've been asked to make a couple of just refresher videos for things that we've learned in class. Um, I'm going to put this onto my YouTube channel. So if there's other students that are also learning this software that need a bit of a refresher, you're more than welcome to use this video. But I'll just apologize in advance if I miss something that your teacher um, focused on or if I teach something in a different way than what your teacher uh, taught you. All right, so we're gonna start with how do we open our pieces. And um, just a note too, I'm using the software on my laptop. Um, my laptop's a bit newer than the computers we use in class. So if it's like a little bit different, like some of the colors are a little different, um, try not to let that throw you off. Don't be looking at my video and then your screen going, wait, they're different colors. Am I doing something wrong? No, it's just, it's just the fact that I have a little bit of a newer uh, software system. Okay, so we find our pieces and our models in data 90. Um, difference between a piece and a model is a piece is part of a model. It could either be the sleeve, the jacket front, the jacket back. The model is the entire garment. So I've already got open um, the jacket block, just to use as an example. So I'm going to cancel out of this since I've already got some things open. I'm going to go ahead, drop a couple pieces down. This, we'll get a little jacket back going, a little jacket front. Okay, I'm going to try to show you the, uh, the hotkeys that we learned in class. My laptop is being a little weird, but hopefully we can get this to work. So, okay, F2, if you guys remember, is the one that'll separate all of your pieces and allow you to see all your pieces at once in your work area. Um, F4 will bring you focused in on whatever piece you have selected. work. F6 is clear measurement, so we don't have any measurements, so that's why it's not working. Um, F7 is to zoom in. F8 is to zoom out. And then F10 is to delete all your pieces. Um, so if you guys remember this lovely little table here, this is your user input box. Um, I've asked the question probably three times on a test, what is the user input box for? And its biggest function is it gives you directions as to what to do next in the program. Um, it's also where you can enter values if you want to like specifically extend a line by half an inch or um, you want something to be at a very specific measurement versus eyeballing it with your cursor. Okay, So we're going to do two tabs in this video. We're going to do the view tab. So I need a piece. I'm going to use the sleeve. And a few things that we went over in the view tab. Very, very simple. Um, the view tab has a calculator available to you if you need to be adding measurements for any reason. Um, it also will, um, you can click this uh, original and it'll show you what the original pattern piece was. If you change your pattern piece, um, you can zoom in and zoom out here. But one of the biggest things in view is the intermediate points. So we're going to click on our sleeve there and see how all those extra points just showed up. Those are the intermediate hidden. So um, those are important to have on when you're reshaping curves and whatnot because sometimes you might be, um, sorry about my, my messenger dinging, um, sometimes you might be trying to redraw a curve and you're like, why is this not working? And it's usually because you have an intermediate point on. Um, I'm going to shut my volume off. There we go. <laughs> um, it's usually because you don't have your intermediate points on. And there's a point there holding um, holding your line in place that you don't want to be holding in place. Okay, so you can also see the numbers for a certain pattern piece. Okay. This piece might not have numbers attached to it, but that's how you see your numbers. Um, i trying to think what else in, this has a mirror function. So if you're looking to flip a pattern piece, um, you can go ahead and do that here. Um, what's the really the big things about the view tab? Intermediate points, that's the biggest thing we've gone over. Um, corners, if that's where you can change. If you're making a jacket and, um, 
and your corners need to be blunted a bit, that's a good tool to use. So, all right, that's why I started with view since it kind of has like the least amount of things that we've known in it. I'm going to hop over to verify. Now, verify is going to be very, very important in your final projects because we are making sure that we're making patterns that fit our client, which is an American Girl doll. So you're going to have to constantly be checking to make sure that your measurements are correct. Um, so how do we check measurements? Line length. I'm going to go ahead and just check whatever the measurement is on this side seam. 6.38 inches um, makes, makes sense. Um, when we get to working on the dolls, they're, they're pretty small. Like I was checking last night, so let's get this line length here. This line length is 27.4 inches. Okay, so that's pretty large to go around an arm. Um, the American Girl doll bicep is four inches, so it's, it's going to be significantly different. Um, not the shape necessarily, but the measurements themselves. Um, so you can also use, let's do distance between two lines. So let's, uh, if I want to go vertical up and down, I can change that here or horizontal. So I'm going to go horizontal. I'm going to go ahead and click this line and see how it like slides. It's a little small on my screen, but, um, here, I'll click somewhere else. Yeah. There we go. You can see that a little better. Um, you can move it and put it wherever you want it and then click and it'll show you what measurement um, you need. You can also do finished, which is allows you to do like point to point. And we were using that when we were creating darts. So like, let's say we want to do this point to this point. There we go. go goes ahead and gives us our measurement. Um, we can measure the perimeter, which is very simple. You just click on perimeter and then go ahead and click on your piece and it'll give you right in the middle there, perimeter 92.51. Um, it'll also give you the area. There we go. I clicked on it. We got the area. Um, it'll give you the angle if you're looking for the angle. So see how in our user input box right here, select two lines to measure the angle. We're going to click on the line here. And then we're going to click on this line here. And that angle is 93.28 degrees. Um, so that's pretty much what we've learned to do with the Verify tab. Um, yep, pretty much. Um, so that is where I'm going to actually end this segment. Um, I'll probably go back into Create and Edit and Modify, um, since those are too heavy. Uh, three hefty tabs. So that at least kind of refreshes how to measure, how to use the view tab and how to open your pieces. Okay. All right. Thank you guys.